Hey everyone, and welcome to my channel, Sweet Daisy. So today I'm gonna to show you how to crochet a hexagon, which is really similar to a granny square. So let's get started. You will need yarn. I'll be using green and gray yarn, scissors, and a crochet hook. I'll be using a five millimeter hook. The stitches we'll be using are the slip stitch, chain, and double crochet. So to start, we're gonna make a slip knot. Then insert our crochet hook and tighten the string. Now we're gonna make a chain of four. So to chain, we yarn over and pull through. So that's one chain. We have two, three, and four. Now of this chain four, we're gonna slip stitch into this first chain. So we insert, yarn over, come out, and pull through. So now we've made a circle, and we're gonna be working into the center of the circle. And next, we're going to make a chain of three. So we yarn over and pull through, two, and three. Then we're going to double crochet into this center. So we yarn over, insert, yarn over, come out, yarn over, pull through only the first two, yarn over, and pull through the last two. So now we've made our first set of two double crochet. So throughout this hexagon, we're going to be working with sets of two double crochet. So this is our first one with our chain three counting as one of the double crochet. So now we're going to chain two. So we yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. And while we're working, we're going to have this tail, and we're going to keep it close to this ring so that it gets incorporated as we work around. So we did our chain two, now we're going to do another set of two double crochet into the center of the circle. So yarn over, insert, making sure to keep this tail close to the ring, yarn over, so we have three loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through the first two, leaving two loops, yarn over and pull through the last two. So that's one double crochet, and now we have two double crochet. Then we're going to chain two and do another set of two double crochet. We have one, and two. So now we have three sets, and so continue in the same pattern until you have six sets of two double crochet. So right now we have three, so you have to do three more. So you can pause your video and I'll meet you back around once you've done the six sets. So now I've done my six sets of two double crochet. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. And throughout the whole time, I made sure that this was close to the ring, so now I can just cut it off when we're done. So next we're going to chain two, one, two, and then slip stitch into the third chain of this chain three. So we count one, two, and three. So we insert, yarn over, come out, and pull through. So now we've completed the first row of our hexagon. So to start the second, we're going to chain three, and this chain three is gonna count as one of our double crochet. And then we're gonna chain one since we're going in between holes. So now we're gonna do two double crochet into this hole. So we yarn over, insert, yarn over, come out, yarn over, pull through the first two, yarn over, pull through the last two. So now we have two, and then we're gonna chain two. One, two, and do another set of two double crochet into the same hole. So we have one, and now we have two. Then we're gonna chain one, and then do two double crochet into this hole. So looking back on what we've just done, we started here and we did a chain one since we're going in between and then we did two sets of double crochet into this same hole connected by two chains. And then we chained one and did two double crochet into this hole. So in this hole, it's a corner, so we do two chains. And then right here we do one chain because we're going in between corners. So now we're gonna chain two because this is a corner and do two double crochet into this hole.
And now, since we're going in between the corners, we're going to chain one and do the same thing. So just continue all the way around, doing two double crochet, chain two, and two double crochet into each hole, chaining one in between corners. So you can pause your video and I'll meet you back around until we get here. So now I've gone all the way back around and we're at this corner, so we're going to chain one since we're going in between, and then we're going to do two double crochet into this hole. Then, since it's a corner, we're going to chain two and do only one double crochet into the corner. So earlier when we did this three chains, this counted as one of our double crochet and this is the second one. So now we're going to slip stitch into the third chain of this chain three. So we count one, two, three and insert here to do our slip stitch. So now we've completed round two of our hexagon. So now I'm going to finish it off. So chain one and pull my string and cut it. And I'm going to do another row with a different color. So now I'm going to use this gray color for my third row. So to attach it, I'm going to put my hook through this hole and then hook the yarn over my hook and pull through. Then I'm just going to make a knot. Insert my crochet hook, yarn over, and come out to get the loop back on our hook. So now we're going to chain three, one, two, and three, and do another double crochet into the same hole. So this counts as our two double crochet. Then we're going to chain one, because this isn't a corner, and then do two double crochet into this corner. Then chain two, and do another set. So we have one, and two. So since we're going in between, we're going to chain one, and do two double crochet into the next hole. Again, chain one, and do two double crochet, chain two, and two double crochet. So you continue in the same pattern by doing two double crochet, chain two, and two double crochet into the corners, chain one, do two double crochet, chain one, and then repeat the same steps for the corners until you go all the way around. So you can pause your video and I'll meet you back. So now I've gone all the way back around and I did this corner, so now I'm going to chain one and then slip stitch into this chain three. So we count one, two, three, and then slip stitch. Then we're going to chain one and pull to finish off this row. Then cut it and pull tight. So now we've completed our hexagon. So we started here with chain four and then did six sets of two double crochet and then continued all the way around and then we cut off our green and attached the gray. So to recap, when we go in the corners, we do two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet, and we're going in between, we chain one, and then in these middle areas between the corners, we do two double crochet and then chain one when you're going in between. So now that you know how to make a hexagon, you can join the hexagons together and make a blanket or any other projects. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel down below, and I'll see you next week. Bye!